basketball season with a 71 to 54 victory over Central Michigan. Tonight that long season comes to an end in a blaze of glory or a sea of disappointment in the NCAA final game against unbeaten Indiana State at Salt Lake City. The Spartans 25 and 6 have romped over four teams in the tournament including Penn in the semifinal Saturday 101-67 action of which you're watching here. Indiana State is 33 and 0 but a five point underdog tonight. It's the final college appearance for Larry Bird, Gregory Kelser, and likely Irvin Johnson. They're now saying that Irvin could well be the first pick in the NBA draft, and he must decide by April 25th. The teams most likely to get him would be Los Angeles or Chicago, unless a trade for draft choices is made in the NBA before the June selection process. It could also be the final Spartan appearance for Coach Judd Heathcote, who I'm told today is now the number one candidate for that USC job, and possibly even UCLA. Do the Michigan State fans think the Spartans have a chance of losing tonight's game? Well, today, reporter Ken Colby sampled the citizenry in Lansing. Absolutely no possible way they'll lose tonight. No possible way. And you can tell that to Al McGuire, too. I don't think there's a chance. They've gone too far. They might as well go all the way. You're sure about that? Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> sure as I can be. Uh, I always uh, been against MSU because they're so darn cocky and they think they're going to be the big top one, but I give them, give them credit for what they have. Very slim. Very slim to none. Uh, it's, uh, they're going to be the NCAA champion. None! No chance! No chance. <laughs> any, any prediction? Oh, I predict a very high scoring game for Michigan State. I think Johnson and Greg Kelser will be superb as always. I predict a 50-point win, and <laughs> Shoes Huffman will get two points. <laughs> totally objective. Larry Bird ends a spectacular college career tonight. It will be interesting to see how he performs against Michigan State zone. Bird spoke today about being the underdog in this game tonight with reporter Craig Sager at Salt Lake. Really, because we haven't played a great schedule. We know that. We beat some good teams on the way here, though. But uh, Michigan State's a great team, and, and they got a lot of great players. So, uh, you know, we, we're the underdog for sure, but if, we just hope we can come over that. You passed up a couple million dollars to play this year. Was it worth it? Sure it has been because, you know, I get a lot of enjoyment out of playing college basketball, and the team that I'm with this year is such a good team. Uh, you can't get no better in the nation. So uh, I just thought the best thing for me was come back. You think you'll be signing with Boston? Well, I'm not for sure right now. You know, we'll sit down and talk to him, and, you know, whatever happens from that, we'll just go from there. Would you like playing for a player coach? Well, you know, I never have been in a situation, but um, this year I'm doing all the coaching, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought that, uh, you know, I don't know no different from it. I just know just do my best I can when I get there and, and try to help the team out. How much will it cost Boston? I can't say that. I just know one thing, bring their money. That's what he and Irvin Johnson are both saying, and we'll have another report from Salt Lake City coming up right after we pause for this message. The NCAA championship, the dream of a lifetime for the players and coaches involved. Who will win? How will the game progress? What will be the strategies in the game tonight? Michigan State going in with a 25-6 and six record, a five-point favorite to win. That's somewhat unusual tonight since Indiana is undefeated and number one ranked in the country. When was the last time a team went into the championship game like that? Don Judd with this report tonight from Salt Lake. Of Irvin Johnson and the Michigan State Spartans against the undefeated Indiana State Sycamores and Larry Bird. Even though ISU is undefeated and ranked number one, Judd Heathcote Spartans are favored. On behalf of Michigan State University, we're very pleased to accept the national championship presented us by the media today. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, no, seriously, we're thrilled, excited to be in the championship game. I think uh, the, all the long season of hard work that we have put in uh, is now paid off, and we are looking forward with eager anticipation the opportunity to play in the championship game. At the same NCAA press conference, Larry Bird said ISU deserves a role in the final two. We, sh we should be here, you know. I th always thought through season, if, if we're going to win this many games and get beat the first game in tournament, we ain't done nothing. And our guys have really stuck together through this whole thing and we play as a team we play to win 
And, you know, we get on each other every once in a while when, when things go wrong, but we know what everybody's supposed to do, and, and we just try the best we can, just, just keep on plugging away. And now, since we're 33-0, and 0, you know, if we get beat, we still ain't lost nothing.